it's me king human pay attention in this video i'm going to show you how this little item made me enough money to buy a house with cash i'm going to show you step by step how you can do the exact same thing check this out watch the whole video there might be a surprise at the end cheers let's go all right all right all right check this out this is going to be the weirdest thing you never thought of doing in a million years but I'm going to give you the entire blueprint and I'm going to give you a bunch of assets for free that will get you started in this business. Now, this business has huge potential. Like I say, I did it myself about 20 years ago. I don't know how long ago it was. And it made me enough money to buy a house with cash. So that's no joke. Now, let me show you what this is. This is eBay. And what you can do is come here and type in Sideshow Gaff, G-A-F-F. -F, and you'll see all of these weird creatures. Now, what a gaff is, it's a man-made exhibit, a sideshow exhibit that is made to kind of fool people into thinking it's real. So this one right here, this, not this exact one, but the original Fiji Mermaid. That was made by P.T. Barnum way back in the day in the 1800s when he had his diamond museum. What he did was he took the top of a monkey and the bottom of a fish and he sewed them together to create this Fiji mermaid exhibit and that made him millions of dollars. He made a whole circus around that exhibit and he had all these other exhibits and of course they were all fake none of it's real but it intrigued people so much that they came to see the Fiji mermaid and they you know this is a huge industry now I made literally scores of different sideshow attractions like this I had shrunken heads I had mummified hands of voodoo witch queens I had alien Roswell debris I had, well, here's one of mine. Here's a mummified, the cursed, haunted, cursed, mummified monkey's paw. Now, I don't know if you know that there's a book about this. The monkey's paw is a famous book. It granted the person that had it three wishes. Anyway, even the Simpsons did a takeoff on it. But look at the price on this. Now, in a minute, I'm going to show you how to, how to create these things and how to get them out there for pennies really this these things are cheap to do but these are just listings so let let's go down here and go into sold items and then what I want to do is instead of ended recently I want to come in here and look at what sold and brought the most money because that's what you want to emulate now look, here's this same monkey's paw sold, somebody accepted an offer. So this guy probably made an offer of 500 bucks, whatever. Let me tell you what this is. This is so easy to do. Oh, you know what? This, I think this is a raccoon paw. I think the actual item here is the hand of a raccoon. Now, you can get these things in the taxidermy section of eBay. If I go into eBay right now, I can find this thing really cheaply. Now, I used to get the things like this from the taxidermy section. This is an interesting story. From a guy who, you know, mounted animals. And he had a bunch of these raccoon paws. And I used to buy them for like eight bucks a piece. And then I would make this exhibit with them, this kind of thing, and I would call it the Chupacabra Hand. I've got newspaper articles on the Chupacabra Hand, the mummified, or the, the haunted hand, the monkey's paw hand, all these different cryptozoological creatures, right? And then the guy that was selling them to me found out what I was up to, and he raised his price from like eight bucks to like 25 bucks and it didn't bother me because I was still making huge money now the display is very easy I used to go to the container store and I would buy
buy a display for a couple of bucks. It's just a little plexiglass thing like this. Very simple, very easy to do. Anyway, let me get back on track here because I want to show you more what's going on to give you more ideas. Uh, mummified three-eyed Egyptian head. This is so easy to make these kind of things. Um, let's see. Here's a here's an interesting situation. What is this? Human giant tooth. Uh, these are just made with a modeling clay type of thing. Let me go down here because I want to show you. I mean, again, I used to sell so many of these. This is one of my items that got ripped off. The alien implant found in a man's arm kind of thing, right? I've, I've done that. Here's another rip off of it. Now, I'm going to show you what I did, and I'm going to encourage you to rip me off. I don't care. I want you to make money. So anyway, you can kind of see this, you know, if we go down here, you're looking at things like this, even at $50. I used to make huge money selling $50 items like that because again, they would cost me $6. Wait a minute, let me go here because this is interesting. This hand, okay, this, I used to sell something similar to this. I used to buy a mummified hand from a Halloween supply store and I just sprayed it with some wood stain and made it look old and it was, it was, I called it the mummified hand of Mamba Shamti, the voodoo witch queen. And those things sold like crazy. It was my best seller, I think. They cost me $6 a piece and they would regularly sell for $200 a piece. Amazing. Now, before you call me a scammer, I never sold these things as real. I sold them as attractions so people could buy them and put them in exhibits on, in their sideshows or in their restaurants or tattoo parlors or, or bars or whatever. And people would buy them and then put out a press release and get a bunch of people coming into their bar to, and to buy drinks and then come in and see the mummified hand of Mamba Shanti. Crazy stuff. Let me show you what I did that made mine stand out from everybody else's. And I want you to copy this. Check this out. All right, here's what I did. Here's, I only grabbed four of them. Uh, I used to make newspaper articles about the exhibit. So here's one about the, well, let me open it up so you can get a better look. Here's one about the mummified, or not the mummified, the haunted skull of the Marquis de Sade. Now the other thing I do, the other thing I did was I created a fake museum as part of the backstory, the guttering museum. And at the time, it even ended up in Wikipedia. I did not submit it, somebody else did. Uh, anyway, you can check this out, but these really made my gaffes sell. I was the only person to do it at the time. Now other people are ripping it off here and there, but I'm gonna give you copies of all of these articles so that you can study them and emulate them. And in a minute, I'm gonna talk about the actual exhibits like this skull, where you can get it, how much it costs, it's cheap. You can go and find these things on the internet very cheaply. And then something like this, a, a plastic skull like this, you have to get one that's real quality. So you're gonna pay a little bit more. You don't want a Halloween shop type thing, but uh, there used to be a Halloween supply. Actually, it was, um, oh gosh, let me think. I think it was called Anatomical Chart. And they made the plastic full-size skeletons for anatomy classes, and they were really good. But some of the times they would have problems with them coming out of the mold and there would be a little defect in the skull or something. So you could buy that kind of thing really cheaply directly from them. Do a Google search and, and you'll find stuff like that. But then I would take something like this because it was really bright white when you got it, bright white. And I would take a spray stain and I would spray it with this tan stain and then just dab it with a cloth and it gave it a real aged look. So there's one. Here's the actual 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, the cursed monkey's paw. See, this is what I did with the monkey's paw. And uh, I don't remember if that's a actual monkey paw or if it's, in other words, the real hand of a real monkey or if it's a raccoon hand because, you know, with the nails clipped off because you could buy these things, again, from a taxidermy supply very cheaply. And uh, again, I'm going to give you a copy of this exact article. And what I suggest you do is emulate it. Don't copy it verbatim. You know, do an article rewriter. And uh, this one was the Paranormal Institute. So that was a backstory. I had a museum and I had a para uh, Paranormal Institute. New York Paranormal Institute finds original cursed monkey's paw, actual cursed monkey's paw, file photo. It's got a byline. In a minute, I'll show you where you can have these printed up. Very cheap. Here's what I did. Now, remember, I did this like 20 years ago. So everything you see on eBay right now in this genre, in this, with these kind of items, they're all ripping me off from 20 years ago. So in fact, here you can even see my name, right? So you'll see it in articles. People are ripping it off, reselling it. They're using my stuff verbatim. I don't care, whatever. So here's the mystery object removed in two hour procedure. Doctors baffled. We have no idea what this is. Alien object embedded in spinal column. And I got a I got a picture of a x-ray and I just superimposed this thing on it. The mistake I made, this should have been smaller, but anyway, this actual item was a little thing I found on the internet. It was a part for something, some kind of little part for something and I bought them cheap. I put them in a little jar and I suspended them with, in caro syrup. It was amazing, it sold like insanity. Uh, let's see here's oh this one is good the Roswell UFO debris everybody knows the story about the Roswell UFO debris it was very light it would you could crinkle it up and it would spring back to its original shape and anyway here's the story I made about it New York Institute recovers original Roswell UFO debris Recovered Roswell UFO debris. And again, this case comes from the container store, a few bucks. I made museum exhibit tags on this. So it came with these museum exhibit tags. And I made up a story about how the museum had to sell off some of their exhibits to come up with money, whatever. Anyway, here's the article. What is this actual item made of? Mylar. So I just went on the internet and I found mylar film, just flat sheets of it for cheap. And I would cut it up into small pieces. So a small piece of this mylar, which cost me a few cents, literally pennies. And then I would kind of crinkle it a little bit and I put it in this case and print out a couple of these tags. And you know, these tags, I'd make them look aged. I would soak them in tea and then I would bake them in the oven and it looked great. Took pictures of it, put it on eBay, sold like insanity, made me huge money. And again, people would buy these to fool their friends. If they were individuals, they would buy them to fool their friends. They would buy them to put on exhibit at, you know, fairs, carnivals, antique shows, things like that. They would put them in their bar or restaurant. I had a guy that made huge money with one of my voodoo hands of the voodoo witch queen and he put it in the bar and he put it on his wall. I'm going to digress a little bit here, but he made a huge wall with the voodoo witch queen and the mummified hand. And what he did was he had a shelf. He had like eight shelves on the wall. And his thing was, Hey, you buy a shot of Mamba Shanti's favorite rum and you set it on the shelf and give her a drink and she grants you a wish. Well, people flocked to go do that. And he sold his sales of that booze went through the roof. So as the night progressed, he sold dozens and dozens and dozens of, of shots and people would put it on the shelf and take a picture of themselves 
with the mummified hand on the wall, and then they'd make a wish, and you know, at the end of the night, this guy took all of those shots and poured them back into the bottle, and he kept selling the same bottles of booze over and over and over again. It was the funniest thing when he told me about it. But anyway, I'm gonna give you all of these newspaper articles. Uh, there will be a link in the video below so that you can come and grab these. Uh, you don't have to opt into an email list, no bullshit, nothing like that. Just a free access to this, these four things. Now go through eBay, you know, do a little search about cryptozoology, Bigfoot, all of the chupacabra, all these different creatures and try and invent things like I did. I came up with these things out of my own fevered little brain, right? And I created a way to present them in an interesting way, the way a museum might or the way a sideshow might. And that's what made huge, huge money for me. So I hope that you'll be able to do the same thing. But now, having told you that, I wanna tell you this. I hope you found that interesting and I hope it helps you to get on your path to success. But in order to be 100% transparent here, I wanna let you know this is not what I personally do to make the kind of money you're seeing on the screen right now. What I'm showing you is the kind of money I make and it comes in autopilot every day, every week, every month, like clockwork, every year. If you wanna learn exactly what I do, I can teach you. Click the link below. I make simple little automated income robots that create passive income. I suggest you jump on it. All right, maximum respect, all the best. Cheers.